Hi, Pep. Um, could I ask you what you thought about the two big incidents in the game, the sending off and also the, the penalty, please? The first yellow card is a little bit uh, to Jimenez. It's the same yellow card we concede with Rodri and Ruben with Adama. And the second yellow card is completely for the penalty. I saw it on the field. I didn't see it not yet in the on TV, but the people say it's half half. So, but I didn't see it. Um, could you just talk me through your team's performance? Because obviously, one nil doesn't do a fair reflection for the dominance you had in that game and the chances you created. Yeah, we were we were we were much 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 better with eleven and with ten players from Wolves. It's so difficult to play against a team like they don't want to play. So eight players plus Adama and Jimenez drop close to the three in the middle. The spaces are so minor. They are so good defending because it's not now for the Nuno has done the work in Wolves. In the last 10 games, lost just two. Today is the third. And these two, one lost last week in 94 minutes against Liverpool. We knew it how tough it would be. But... Uh, we didn't lose our be patient. We were patient all the time because they want you distract. And after one contract with Adama Traore, with the other players, they can punish you. It happened in the past against that team. But uh, in general, we were good. We were not so clever. Maybe in the final third, some players drop a little bit the performance, and and uh, and some players are coming to get to get the best. So. But the, honestly, good result for us. And we concede one chance in 93, 94 minutes again. And we we create enough, you know, to score the goals, but we were not clinical enough to, to convert. Um, <laughs> Mike, Mike Manet. Um, a word on Pete Sterling. Very quiet, Mike. Can you hear me now? That's better, yeah. That's better. Um, Pep, a word on 100 goals for Raheem Sterling. 100 Premier League goals. Great number. At, at this age, at his age, 100 goals is a lot. So, congratulations. Like the same 100 clean sheets for Medi. So, yeah, big congratulations for both. And for the team, of course. Um, and also, um, he's spoken recently in a, in a newspaper interview about his confidence uh, and how he has lived in his own, own head at times and a bit of negativity in his own head. But what sort of confidence are you seeing him right now and, and this season? Listen, Rahim always have been important players, but the players sometimes don't understand that sometimes they drop... There are highs and lows in the careers for the players. And we want is the best of them. And I am in first sometimes because players are performing well and they don't play. And I don't have an excuse to say, I'm so sorry. But sometimes, when sometimes uh, performing not well, they have to play another one. And of course, he scored a goal lately. He's aggressive. He's so commitment defensively, like always has done. So we have done these years with this team. Rahim have been incredibly important. Uh, but here it depends on performing no more than that and they have to do it every every single game and his behave and the confidence is really good is, is aggressive and attack and try to do it and this is important and, uh, and finally for me uh, another word on another player Edison finally uh, taking a bit of time but 100 clean sheets for, for Edison in all competitions for Manchester City and he made two big saves at the end there to, to really hold on to that in a game where he had very little to do yeah absolutely when he went win zero and still to control we start to run up and down we lost simple balls four or five simple balls that is not necessary because a team like they don't want to attack okay we don't attack so if you don't want to play we don't play with one zero and we break in this situation because we play at home, because demanding the people. And when that happened, you lose the balls, easy balls. And after the counter-attack, we didn't defend well the throw-ins. We didn't defend well um, the high position. Like we have one more man. We drop too much to defend the result. This is completely the opposite. So we concede actions because we let them play when we have 
one more player is almost man to man. They don't have to think. And uh, that's why it's good because we're going to improve for the future. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Stuart Brennan, and then we'll call the embargo. Can, can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Um, you said when you had a when you had a bad run of missing penalties uh, a year or so ago, uh, you talked about maybe not leaving it to the players anymore and to, to find a solution yourself. Um, did you ever come to a conclusion on that? Because Raheem had missed his last three before today. Um, did you have any worries about him taking it? Our best taker by far is, is Rihat. He has shown under pressure the quality that he has. I was not in the pitch. Gundogan is another one, but he's struggling a lot with his back. He's performing not well in the last two games. It's because he's struggling a lot with the position and you have to reflect what we have to do to recover him. And, um, and you know, in that moment, they choose. Bernardo is a good taker. Rodri could do it. But Rahim showed the personality to take it and score a goal. And this is a more value, the more precious things and more values I, I appreciate. So the guys, even missing situations, take responsibility to do it. And this is so important. Stuart, uh, calling at 10.30 Sunday evening.